hello guys welcome back to the music player app creation tutorial so already we have designed a mini player view in our main activity and now we have to make it functional so that we can use it by pressing some buttons that is a next button previous button play pause buttons so here i'm going to start this tutorial by creating an instance of music service class that we will use to control the musics from now playing fragment bottom as you can see we are in this class now playing fragment bottom and here i am implementing a service connection implement service connection and then we will have to import two methods by hovering over this line import implement two method here you can see this just press enter and this is the method that will be called when the service will be connected and the service will be disconnected and then we will have to create an instance of this class my bundle class inside our now playing fragment bottom and inside this method so just write music service dot my binder and name it whatever you want i'm going to name it as binder equals the service that you can see in the formal argument the instance of i binder just write service and then you will see there will be an error that is just because of you have to explicitly type cast means just copy this line and inside the parenthesis you have to paste it and here we go the error is gone and now we can call a method from my binder class to initialize music service instance that we have already created by using binder dot get service and it will be initialized and inside this on service disconnected method we have to just write music service equals null means we are just initializing it by null and in on resume method after this if statement means inside this if statement we will have to create an instance of intent intent equals new intent that we will use to bind the service from min, mini player activity means mini player fragment to the music service class so just initialized this intent and now we will have to check if we get context is not equal to null to avoid the null pointer exception get context is not equal to null then we will bind the service using get context dot bind service then here we will have to pass some parameters that is intent and then the service connection means this as a service connection and here you will have to just write a constant bind auto create this will be automatically imported and then after binding the service from on resume method we will have to unbind the service when on pause method will be called so we will override just write on pause start writing then you will see on pause method just enter here you go and here we have to unbind the service so we will first check if get context is not equal to null means we will avoid the null pointer exception and inside this if statement we will call get context dot unbind service so just write unbind service here you can see this and just pass the connection that is this then it will be called and the service will be unbinded again when on resume method will be called the, serv the service will be binded so now inside our next button click method means here you will have to just write if music service is not equal to null we will call a next button method from music service class by using the service music service instance as we have not created any methods new next button clicked method in our music service class so we are not going to call this so just remove it and we have to go inside our music service class and then we will be creating here a next button clicked method that we will use to play next button here you will be creating a public void method or you can create only void next button clicked method 
so just write next button clicked and uh, curly braces over here you have to write magic service dot next button clicked method here you can see in on start command we just have to cut this code because we want to work with uh, the methods that we have already created that is next button click method just write it means we are executing the next button click method and we just have to paste it over here it will work for playing the next song and now we are going to create a new method that is previous button click method like next button click method and we will execute in our switch case statement inside our on start command method over here you can see this but we have this next button case statement and over here it is for play pause so we have to change it to play pause because we want to play or pause the button song so just rename it as play paused button and then we will have to create a new method that is play post button here we have to rename it as play post button and then it will work for playing the song and everything is fine now then what we have to do again we have to cut this code for previous button and then paste it over here that we have already created a new method and now just write it over here previous button clicked method and then we have to create a new method that is next button clicked method and then we will have to paste the codes that we have already cutted so just name it whatever you want and then inside the curly braces we have to just paste it now I'm going to remove this log statement and also over here and this one too just remove the log statement because we don't need and then just call the method that is next button click method over here and uh, just remove the toast also or you can leave it as it is So now we are done with creating methods inside our music search class. Now we can call that method from now playing fragment bottom using the instance of music service class that is music service dot next button click method. And uh, also you can call the methods for uh, play post button and uh, previous buttons. So just change it to play post because we haven't created any buttons for previous so not required to call the previous button method so now i think we are done with playing the songs by next button and play post and now inside this play post button click method we will check if music is playing by using music service dot is playing method if it is playing then we will change the resource of image that is play post button from play to pause that is play pause button dot set image resource r dot drawable dot we have to write over here pause button so just write pause here you can see i see pause circle then in else block we have to just change the resource of that image just write r dot drawable dot i see play circle and that's it now i'm going to check if the app is working properly this is the vector asset that we are using so i'm going to run the app and see if it is working or not So here you can see this the app is installed and 
we are going to play a song and we will come and see the song is going to hit and the notification is also coming soon. Now I am going inside all the activity and let's see. We will pause this song. Song is changed, but the song name and the album art is not changed. So we work for it. Now we are going to update our codes so that it will show the song name and the album art inside our mini player view according to the songs that are playing. So what we have to do. I'm going to inside our music service class because we have some codes over here in a method that is create media player method we want to copy those codes for storing the URI and artist name also the title so just copy this and go to the no playing fragment bottom and after this else statement in our next means if statement inside this if statement we have to paste it and just write it over here get activity dot it will resolve the error and we have to create a new variable that is name music last played that i am going to copy from music service class here you can see this these are the four names that i am going to copy and paste it over here these are the key for storing the values just import this constant mode private import static con constant and over here we have to pass the path then how we can do that we will use the music service instance over here just write music service dot music files dot get position just write position we don't have the position so what you will do you will again write music service dot position that is we are using the position variable from music service class and uh, and at the end we will add a method that is get path it will give you the path for that song that will be going to play and now just going to copy the codes and paste for the artist just change this get path to get artist and again paste it over here for getting the title so now we have done means we have stored the values that is the path value and the artist value also the title value now we will add a condition for the activity to resolve the null pointer exception as you can see the warning over here in yellow color so just add if condition get activity is not equal to null and open parenth open curly braces and at the end of this editor dot apply we have closed parenthesis now what we have to do actually let's first run the app and see what happens okay we haven't done anything to show the song name and the artist name also the image for the album art so it will not work anything just let's see what it is showing running the app I'm going to play the song it is being played now go back to the main activity here you can see this it will work for play point but in the next button click method because we are to our codes so now I'm going to change means update some codes so what we have to do we have to get the album art and show our mini player view 
and to to do that we have to add some codes that is these codes is so many player means total these codes just copy this and then we will have to paste just copy this and then come over here inside our next button click method and in this if statement after editor dot apply we will have to just paste it and then we can resolve this error means the connection for this connection by removing this intent because we don't want to bind service again and again it is already bounded in on resume method this will be fine then this will show the album art and now let's run the app and see if it is working or not so wait for the installation it is installed now and just play any one of the song let's say we are going to play this song okay this song now here you can see the song is playing go back to the main activity and the album art is correct now let's see changing the album art so what we have to do again go to this so many player and over here we have to update some more codes maybe it is because of so many player boolean variable is not true so how we can do that we will have to we will have to add these codes for updating the boolean variable means true false so just copy this from main activity on resume method and paste it over here just after editor dot apply and again we will have to add a get activity for resolving this error so just write get activity dot actually it is get album art so just change it to get activity and now the error is resolved after this we have one more error and what it, what it is here you can see this artist dot set text because we have artist as string value string string variable and also artist as text view so we are just going to change this string variable from artist to artist name and this to artist name because it is string variable and it is creating ambiguity so now everything looks fine now let's see if it is working or not so let's run the app and wait for the installation so here our app is installed now this time let's see if it is working or not let's play one song click on it it is being played now go back to the main activity and here you can see the main player view art, title and the artist everything is fine so that's it for this tutorial thank you for watching